Good morning. Good morning, how are you all doing? So I'm just positioning my phone before we start the class. So today is fitness pilates. Um, we will begin by standing, then we'll work our way down onto the ground. So we're going to work a bit of everything in this workout. Hello! So, everything from head to toe. Um, it's mainly a core workout that we'll be doing, so abdominals and back. But we are working a bit for our legs as well, so absolutely everything all rolled into one. Um, so if you're feeling fit and well, please do this workout. Make sure you've got enough core space. If you have a yoga mat, please bring one along. Um, if you don't have one of them, you can use a towel, you can use a rug, just something nice and soft that you're lying on because we will be on the ground a lot. So can you all hear me? Music's not too loud. Um, so what we will do is I will just skip that song. I'll be back in a second. So we'll begin by standing. Good morning, Lorraine. So it's shoulders back, chest up, abdominals squeeze in, bum squeeze in, feet hip width apart. So we'll begin with the shoulder rotation. So just loosening everything off. And then full arm rotation. Keeping your core nice and tight, abdominals squeezed in, bum squeezed in. Now that if this feels uncomfortable doing a full arm rotation, you can do what I like to call the chip instead. So it's a half arm rotation. Again, squeezing in your belly button towards your spine, bum squeezed in, shoulders back, chest up. I'll change to the other side. Big arm rotation, we're just warming up. And then deep breath in, reach up. And then breathe out, chin towards your chest, rolling down legs as straight as you can. And then slowly coming back up again, rotating your shoulders, deep breath in, reach up. Breathe out, chin to chest, abdominals squeeze, then rolling down, legs nice and straight. Rotating your shoulders, deep breath and reach up. And breathe out, roll down. And slowly come back up again. This time, arms go out wide, line with your shoulders, upper body rotates round. Into the middle, other side. So we're just warming up our back, warming up our glutes, keeping your lower body forward facing. One more time each side. Then arms come down, rotate the shoulders backwards just a couple more times. And then make sure your feet are hip width apart. Abdominal squeeze in, bum squeeze in, slight knee bends. Shoulders back, chest up, we're taking in a deep breath in. When we breathe out, we squat down, come back up. So it's up to you how low you go. Your shoulders are back, your chest is up. All the weights in your heels. Just keep breathing. It's up to you how low you go. Easier option, higher squat. Harder option, lower squat. Two more squats to go. And then 
Saga Shake Off the Legs. The next move that we're going to do is a lunge forward. So we'll go forward, switch to the other side. So shoulders back, chest up, forward lunge, change leg. So use your arms to help with your balance. We're just warming up your hip flexors. Keeping your shoulders back, chest up, abdominals squeezed in. Making sure that your knee does not go over your toes as you step forward into the lunge. Two more each side. So you can do this workout as fast or as slow as you like. Shake off the legs. Next move that we're going to do, standing upright, shoulders back, chest up, abdominals squeeze in, palms squeeze in, hands go on your waist. So you're going to lift up one leg and down. Harder option, your foot hovers above the ground. Easier option, you tap the ground with your foot. If you need to, you can hang on to something. If at any point during this workout, if you need a drink, please grab one. One more, then it's a leg abduction. So out to the side and in. Again, same option, easier option, you can tap the ground. Harder option, your foot hovers above the ground. Four, three, two more, then we'll change leg, knee lift, up, down. Keeping the shoulders back, chest up, loosening off those hips. Four more, and then it'll be a leg abduction to the side, last one, leg abduction, out, in, out, in. Again, easier option if you need to, you can tap your foot on the ground, harder option, foot hovers above the ground. Two to go. Shake off those legs. I'm just going to show you the view from the side for the next move. You do not need to turn around, that's optional. So your hands are on your waist. One foot goes behind. You're going to lift and lower, keeping your leg as straight as you can. So what we're doing here is we're working your bum. If you need to hang on to something, a chair, the wall, you can do so. You're just lifting up that leg as far as it's comfortable for you. I'll we'll change leg. Up and down. So you all feeling good this morning? Don't know about you, but after this quick shower, then it's beginning, well, the start of work for me. Same for you as well. Starting off Monday the good way. Two more. Last one. Shake off those legs and we're going to sit down. So the first move that we're going to do is a half roll back, shoulders are back, chest up, deep breath in. When we breathe out, we're going to go as far back as it's comfortable for you. Squeezing in your abdominals. Then breathe in, come up. And if you want to, you can reach for your toes. Breathing out. Going back as far as it's comfortable. And back up. So we're just warming up our abdominals and our back. If you want to make it harder, you can straighten out your legs. So 
breathing out through back energy come up if you want to make it harder one arm goes out to the side as you go back so you're going at a speed that's good for you breathing out as you go back in as you come up Can you feel this work in your abdominals and your back? Can you feel them warming up? One more time on each side. Then we're going to roll all the way back. So we're lying down. Your knees are bent, your feet are flat on the mat, abdominals are squeezed in, hands are by your sides or they're under your bum supporting your back. You're going to take in a deep breath in, then you breathe out, one leg goes up to 90 degrees, your knee in line with your hip. Take another deep breath, when you breathe out, your second leg joins it. So it's called tabletop position, your hands are either by your sides or they're under your bum supporting your back. Then you put a squeeze in towards your spine and your back is nice and flat. So you're breathing in and you're breathing out. Deep breath in and out. So just keep breathing, keep holding. If you find that your core is shaking or your back is lifting, pop your hands under your bum to help support yourself. If you find they're still lifting up off of the ground, throw your feet down, give your bum a shiver, squeeze in your belly button towards your spine and come back up. Keeping that back nice and flat on the mat, belly button squeeze in towards your spine and your breathing. So the next move that we're going to do is we're moving this into big steps. So one knee comes up towards your chest and then the other one goes out straight. And go to speed that's good for you, belly button is still squeezed in towards your spine, back's nice and flat on the mat. The lower down your legs are towards the ground, the harder it is, the higher up towards the roof that they are the easier this is. So you can go anywhere in between, just whatever feels comfortable for you. And if you are a pro at fitness Pilates, or Pilates, and you want a little bit more, you can lift up your head, neck and shoulders up off of the ground, looking down your body. Belly button is squeezed in towards your spine. Back is nice and flat, and you're moving your legs. It's up to you how fast or how slow you go. Just warming up our lower abdominals. We're working our thighs. Head, neck and shoulders can either be up between down your body or it could be on the ground. Entirely up to you. You do what feels comfortable for you. Two more each side. Once you've done your last one, bring in both knees, lower your head and your shoulders down, stretch out your arms, stretch out your legs, pointing your fingers, pointing your toes. Now you can stretch out to any point in the class. You just do what feels good for you. Stretch when you need to stretch. The next move that we're going to do is a roll up. So what we're going to do, either bent legs or straight legs, it's up to you. Hands go above the head, out nice and straight. Deep breath in. Arms slowly come up as you breathe out. 
when your hands are behind the head of the shoulders, you slowly lift them up off of the ground, but like you can squeeze them towards your spine. And then you slowly come up using your floor, even forwards. So I'm just going to turn so you can see. So breathing out, rolling back. Arms out stretched. And then again, coming up. Abdominal squeezed in. Using your core to come up, bending forward. Now, if you find you get stuck, you can always bend your knees. You can use them to help you get down. And you can use them to help you get back up again. Moving out, coming up, head down from the shoulders up. And you want to let if you need to. So everything can be adapted. And you're just going to speed this good for you. So if we were in the class in person, I would be saying to you, what exercise does this help with? So fitness classes helps you in your everyday life to do normal things that helps improve flexibility, your mobility. What is this exercise helping you do? We're going to do one more. So this exercise helps you get out of bed in the morning. Unless of course you're saying to me right now, doesn't help me, I just roll off the side. <laughs> so next move that we're going to do, one of my favourites, some of you hate it, Russian twists. So it's either feet on the ground, knees bent, shoulders back, abdominal squeezing, clasp your hands together, you twist, middle, twist, twist. And you're going at a speed that's good for you. If you want to make this harder, you can bring your feet up to tabletop position. Twist, middle, twist, middle. Follow your hands with your head. Keep on going. Twist, middle, twist. So we're working our waist. We're working a bit of our back. And our abdominals. Twist. Can you feel it? Are you following your hands with your head? Two more each side. Come on, we can do this. Next move. We're lying all the way back again. We're lying back. Your knees are bent. Belly button squeeze in towards your spine. Hands on the lats by your sides or they're under your bum supporting your back. You're taking in a deep breath and then breathe out. One mic goes up to 90 degrees. You look ginormous now. <laughs> Take another deep breath when you breathe out. Second leg comes up to 90 degrees. What you're going to do is a hip drop. One knee goes down to one side, the other one stays in the tabletop position. Back up into the middle. Rock the other side. So as you can see, the one that's staying in tabletop position does not move. Your belly button is squeezed in towards your spine. Your back is nice and flat on the mat. If you find your back or your legs are moving, as you drop one knee down, just smaller knee drop. This feels uncomfortable in your hips. You do not need to do it. What you can do is stay in the tabletop position. Remember, hands are either by your sides or they're under your bum. Your belly button is squeezed in towards your spine and your back is nice and flat. You're concentrating on your breathing. You're breathing out as your leg goes out. You're breathing in as your leg comes in. Just going to speed that's good for you. 
This is really good for your back. This is good for your abdominals as well. One more each side. After this, bring in both knees towards your chest. Stretch out one leg. That leg comes in. Stretch out the other leg. Bend the knees, feet flat on the mat, hands by your sides or under your bum, belly button squeeze in towards your spine. Take a deep breath and when you breathe out, one leg goes up towards the roof. So it's up to you whether you point your toes or you flex your foot. Keeping your belly button squeezed in nice and tight and your back flat, you're going to circle your leg around. So it's up to you how big or how small the circular movements are. The smaller they are, the easier it is. The bigger the movement is, the harder it is. So this is working your lower abdominals and it's working your inner thigh as well. It's also working your hip flexibility and mobility. If you do find that this is uncomfortable for you, try it with a knee bend instead. Keep that belly button squeezed in towards your spine. Keep breathing. Change directions. Same leg, different direction. So again, this might be uncomfortable for you. You might prefer to do smaller circles when we're going in the opposite direction. Or you might need a knee bend. What feels good one way doesn't always feel good the other way. And it'll be the same when we change to our other leg as well. One more. Change the leg. So leg goes up, either pointing the toes or flexing the foot. And circular movements. Belly button squeezed in towards your spine. nice and flat on the mat and again if you find this uncomfortable either do smaller circles or bend the knee think of your nice toned inner thigh toned lower abdominals as well one more then change direction. Now you've got some squeeze in towards your spine and your breathing. Two more circles. And then you're bringing in your knees towards your chest. And then stretch out your arms. Stretch out your legs, pointing your fingers, pointing your toes, stretching off your abdominals. Next move, we're going on to our side. So make sure your body's in a nice straight line. Your head is either resting on your arm like this, or if you prefer, you can rest like this. Whatever you feel more comfortable with. Top arm, so that's either on your waist, or it's on the mat to support you. Belly button squeeze in towards your spine, your legs are nice and straight. You're going to take a deep breath in when you breathe out. Lift up one leg, just as far as it's comfortable for you. Take another deep breath, when you breathe out, second leg, whoop, second leg lifts up, belly button squeezed in towards your spine, bum squeezed in, and again this arm's either on the waist or it's on the mat. So what you're going to do is this top leg is going to start circling around. If you found that when you try to lift up that bottom leg, if it didn't lift, you can lower it onto the ground. Belly button is squeezed in towards your spine. 
gonna turn slightly so you can see. That leg's lifted, and it's like going around. Change direction. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but leg that's hovering above the ground. Two more. And one. Then we're going to lift up and lower. Lift and lower. Again, just lifting up that leg as far as it's comfortable for you. So you feel this walking that outer part of your hip, but for your bum, you go to your muscles. Four, three, two, and one. Lower your feet to the ground, bring up this top leg towards your chest, stretching out your hips and your bum. Now we're going to change over to the other side. So make sure you can see. So my legs are in shock. Head resting on your arm. Top arm is either on your waist or it's on the mat or the ground. Taking a deep breath and when you breathe out, one leg comes up. Take another deep breath when you breathe out, second leg joins it. So it's hovering above the ground. But again, if you cannot lift your bottom leg off the ground, it's okay, you can keep it down there for support. So when you're ready, top leg goes up a little bit higher and it starts circling around. Belly button is squeezed in towards your spine. It's just a small circular movement. You're breathing. One more, leg abduction. So up and down, up, down. Belly button squeezed in towards your spine. Can you feel it working the outer part of your hip, your bum? Up, down, up, down. Keep on going. Last one, four, three, two, and one. Lower your feet to the ground, top leg up towards your chest, stretching out your hips, bum and thigh. After this, we're going on to our front. So I'm just going to turn my mat around. We're going swimming. It's been a while since I've swam. Probably the same for you. So we're lying flat. Make sure you can stretch out your legs. So, you're not going to see my head in a moment. My head is going to be facing the mat and you should be as well. You can cross your arms in front of your head and you can rest your head on them. So cross your arms. I like to call this a lie though. Head goes down. Squeeze in your bum as tightly as you can. Deep breath in when you breathe out. Legs come up and you start kicking them. So you're breathing. You're kicking your legs. This is called swimming. Bum squeezed in nice and tight. Squeeze in that bum. Kick those legs, legs as straight as you can, try and get the knees off the ground. Boom! How are you doing? Can you feel this working? Can you feel on your bum? Can you feel on your legs? It might feel partly on your back as well, that's what we are looking. Almost done. Four. Three. Two legs, relax your bum. Next move that we're going to do, we are going to outstretch our arms and legs. We're going to turn to the side. So we bit squint, but so you can see. So head and neck are down towards the ground. 
You're going to take a deep breath, squeeze your bum as tight as you can. Keep your head in it, facing the mat. Breathe in as you go down. Breathe out as you will lift up. So again, this is really good for your back. Squeeze in your bum before you lift up. Deep breath in as you go down. Let your bum relax. Squeeze in. Breathe out. Lift up. We're doing two more on each side. The last one on each side. Squeeze in your bum. Lift up, breathe out. Breathe in, come down. Let your bum relax. Squeeze in your bum. Breathe out. Lift up. And then we'll go into child's pose. We're stretching off our back, driving your thumb down towards your heels. Stretch out those arms, and if you can, put your head on the mat. Now we're coming up onto our hands and knees, abdominals squeezed in, backs nice and flat, hands in line with the shoulders. We're going to thread the needle so abdominals are squeezed in, one hand goes underneath. Pull your hands with your head, try and get your shoulder close to the ground. And then breathe out, looking up towards the roof. Breathing in, arm comes under, breathing out, arm comes up. And you're just going at speed, that's good for you. It's really good for your back, it's good for your obliques. Just loosening everything up, toning everything up. We'll do one more on this side, and then we'll change to the other side. Just hand down in line with your shoulder, other arm goes underneath, so go towards the ground, breathing out, reaching up towards the roof, and back down. We'll do a couple more. And then while we're down on our hands and knees, we'll do one of my favourite mountain climbers. So hands in line with the shoulders. You've got a couple of options. Knees in line with your hips. Easier option. One knee stays on the ground. Other foot goes out. Knee towards your elbow. So this is your easier option. One foot stays on the ground and you're lifting your knee up towards your elbow. Harder option, you're on your toes, abdominals squeezed in, your hips are as low as it's comfortable for you. Let's go. Knee to elbow. You can go as fast or as slow as you like. So we're working our lower abdominals dominantly. Working about our hip flexibility, mobility, our upper body getting a bit of a workout as well. Keep on going. Four, three, two. 
I'd run. Next move. You're coming down back onto your knees again. Easier option again. One knee stays on the ground. You tap. Tap to the side and back. Tap. Back. So if you do it with one knee on the ground, do four on one side, four on the other and keep switching. Harder option. You're on your toes. Tap. Tap. So if you haven't already started, please do so. Keep on going. Abdominal squeeze it. Belly button towards your spine. Two more each side. Then come down onto your knees. Rotate those wrists. Shake off those shoulders. So we don't have much longer left, but we can't do this class without a wee sip. So you've got a couple of options. Shoulders back, chest up, easier option. Palms to the sky. Deep breath in, breathe out. You lean back. Easiest option, feet stay on the ground and hold, squeezing in your belly button towards your spine. Middle option, legs in tabletop position. You're squeezing, belly button in towards the spine. Shoulders back, chest up, hardest option. Straight legs. Woo! And you're breathing. Keep holding. Hands to the sky. Four, three, two, one. If you need to stretch out, you can roll down. Point in your hands, point in your legs, stretching out your abdominals. We're going to do one more V6. So you can either come up from down here or you can sit up and then lean back. It's up to you. Deep breath in. Four, three, two, V six. Woo! So see those straight legs, bent legs, our feet on the ground, palms to the sky. Knee pull down. Also, your legs are not stuck. Whatever you choose at the start, if you think you can't hold this anymore, where is she going to say that's it? You can move. You can lower them down to the ground, have them in the middle. Have them up. Almost done. Four, three, two, one. Stretch out, pointing your fingers, pointing your toes. We're going to roll up at just the ones. Hands outstretched. Bring them up. Breathing out, squeezing in your abdominals. If you need to, you can bend your knees. Help you get up. Use that core. You're slowly going to stand up. Shoulders back. We're rotating them. Feet hip width apart. You're going to outstretch your arms. Hold them over. Breathing out. Coming up. Breathing in. Breathing in. And breathe out. Hold them. One more time. Rotate those shoulders around. Both arms rotation. Abdominals squeezed in, arms squeezed in, shoulders back, chest up. Clasp your hands behind your back, pushing out your chest, shoulder blades together. Shake up your arms, pull one arm across. Other arm. Deep breath and reach up. Breathe out. Cross the arms. Then we'll squat down. 
Deep breath and reach up. Breathing out, squatting down. Deep breath and reach up. Breathe out, squat down. One more time. This time, feet together. We reach up and over. We're stretching our boots. Other side. And then deep breath and reach up. Breathing out. Feet hip width apart. Shin towards your chest. Legs as straight as you can. Breathing out. Reaching down. So we're coming back up again. Rotating your shoulders. Deep breath and reach up. Breathe out. Roll down. Chin towards your chest. Legs as straight as you can. And we come back in again. Rolling up, rotating shoulders, deep breath and reach up. Breathe out. Rolling down. So you should find you can stretch further now than you could at the beginning of the class. Rotate those shoulders, shake off those legs. Hands on your waist. Feet hip width apart. What you're going to do is lift up one leg. And then you're going to put it behind. So we're not going to do this for long. If you need to, you can tap your foot in the middle. And then this leg is going to do a couple of circles. And then just change things up a little bit. We do a figure of eight. So it goes across and out. One more time. And foot goes on the ground. So change the legs. So it's a lift. And then back. And then circle the slide around, so all the way around. Easier option, tracing a circle on the ground with your toe. One more, and then a figure of eight. So just cross it over, out. And then, so the figure of eight is really the side. Or it's the infinity symbol, but we're only going to do a couple more of these. Feet hip width apart, deep breath in, arms come up, breathe out, whoosh, deep breath and reach up, breathe out, whoosh, deep breath and reach up, breathing out, whoosh, one more time, big whoosh, whoosh, and we're done, so thank you very much for joining me, if you missed the beginning, you can always catch up on this workout, it will be on the Leisure Active Facebook page for a while. So you'll find it in videos or if you scroll down, you'll find it on the news feed. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good rest of the week and happy Monday.